Hey everybody, welcome back to The Loop. This week, I want to invite you to join me in reading through the book of Romans together. The Apostle Paul is writing this book as he approaches the end of his life. Knowing that the end may be near, Paul writes this book in order to fully explain how God has been working throughout the history of the world and how he has worked more recently through the person and work of Jesus Christ. Paul wants the gospel or the good news story of Jesus Christ to be very, very clear before he dies. It's why this book is one of the longer books that Paul writes. It's also why this book is a little more theologically heavy than a lot of the other books Paul writes. In the first couple of chapters, Paul pinpoints the number one problem in the world today, sin. In Romans chapter 1, starting in verse 18, Paul says that people have made a choice. They've chosen to suppress the truth. That's verse 18. He says later, we have exchanged the truth of God for a lie. That's verse 25. And then in verse 28, Paul says, God has handed humanity over to their depraved way of thinking. Wrong thinking eventually leads to wrong living. Paul talks about that. Paul says that our foolish hearts become darkened. Paul says that if we're intent on having it, God will give humans over to the sinful desires of their hearts. Verses 26 and 27, we read the word shameful that describes a kind of sexual sin that was common in their day and common in our day, the sin of homosexuality. Paul says, It's not natural. It's not the way that God intended for it to be. Then in Romans 3, verse 23, Paul says that all people have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. See, sin is not just a homosexual problem. It's a human problem. God has a very high standard for all of us. And Paul says that 100% of people on this planet fall short of God's high standard. Chapter 3, verse 10, Paul said, There is no one righteous, not even one. In order to solve a problem, you first have to admit that there is a problem. The biggest problem in our world today, the biggest problem back then, The biggest problem in your family, the biggest problem in your life, and the biggest problem in my life is a problem called sin. So today I want to invite you to be honest with God about your sin, own up to it, and then tune in again tomorrow as we talk about the good news that helps us resolve all the bad news that we had to talk about today.